Welcome back to the Goalie Be a Pro. We are currently 3-3-0, and we've had a pretty solid start to the year individually. We have a record of 2-1-0, and a 931 save percentage, 142 GAA, and it's not like we've played a whole lot of games, but yeah, I mean, we're still off to a good start nonetheless. Let's view the lines here and see what our team is made up of, just to keep you guys updated. So we got Nuge, McDavid, and Pujarvi. We got Yamamoto, Dreisaitl, and Hyman, Ennis, Dano, and Radulov. Radulov's actually been killing it so far this year. Not bad. Five points in six games as a third liner. And then um, our fourth line there is Achari, Ryan, and Fogel. Here's our defense. We're looking pretty solid back there. And in net, we've got TJ and Pavel. So, yeah, we do have that X factor. I haven't really seen it do a whole lot for us yet. But regardless, we are... Hopefully going to win some more games today, because 3-3-0 isn't the best start we could have had, but it also could have been worse. So, yeah, and it's really way too early to give any sort of, you know, I guess rash decision or, yeah, like super serious take on how the season's going to go. Because we don't know. We don't know. 3-3-0 is just, um, you know, it's an average start. So, let's see how today goes. I... Would like to sim this game and we'll jump in if it's jump in a bull. We're not getting destroyed. That's good. Okay. I'm not going to jump into this game simply because we are destroying them. So I'm just going to sit. Okay. I should have jumped in. Well then. All right. Noted for next time. Save percentage is going to go down a little bit. Oh, that's a hattie. That's a hattie for Leon. a boy. All right. Continue. Not exactly what we were looking for there. Conversation with McDusty. What's up, dude? Are we going to a park or something? Museum, perhaps? Maybe a good old ball game? What's going on? We're in DC. How does the Lincoln Memorial sound? Uh, sure. Why not? And neutral. Management likability and teammate likability. Beautiful. Remember, for that one storyline I created, I need to maintain or at least finish the year with a 2000 teammate like ability and i am definitely on track for that yeah there's no concern there so it's it's looking like that will be easily achievable two wins in a row and we're now five three and oh that's looking better st louis blues three three and two let's see how the simulation treats us this time all right lovely that's amazing thank you for that Great. Welcome back, everybody. And you know, we were talking about some of the young. By the way, our save percentage is back really below a 900. My so far to start this season, I'll tell you what. Don't look any further than the backyard here, and uh, in goal. I mean, this young goaltender has really been impressive. When you talk about, I just let in seven goals so far. I mean, to me, he's right near the top of the list. If best not the rookie top so of it. far. He has been brilliant. He's made some big saves. But you know, what also impresses me is. He sometimes goes long stretches without facing a shot, and he still stays mentally in it. That's I do what really I can. hard as a young goaltender to do, but his mental focus has been right there like, so far. What the is going on? Of his career. I'm impressed. All right, time for a quick break. We got a lot more to get to. We'll get to the phones. I see Brianna. Flurry. Zoe. Okay, well, time to jump in here. They have four goals. On like 18 shots. So our chance of getting a 900 save percentage is essentially zero. But I'm going to try to hopefully make some stops here in the third period and get us a W. I like, man, I don't get it. I really don't understand. Eric Sinek has the puck and he passes it up to Zuccarello. But our defense will step up and once again disable a clean entry. And now we have it back the other way. McDavid in the slot does a couple deeks. Oh, what a shot. That rebound... Would have been prime as well, but Kaprizov got back and shut down the opportunity. Unfortunately, that would have tied this bad boy up. Zook has it on the wing. He walks in the middle, takes a shot, doesn't get through. And Barry will be there to battle for the rebound. A nice no-look pass to McDavid on the wing. Here we go, boys. We can tie this thing up. That's easy peasy. What was that shot? Oh, wow, I thought he kept it. No, that would have been huge. All right, we're off to... A fairly solid start here for the most part. I mean, yeah, we are sort of getting beaten in the physical aspect currently, but that's all right. 
We're definitely out. Oh, man, we're out shooting them. We're just overall out playing them and just once again can't score. But we've had this same situation. We've bounced back, so I think that we'll do the same here. We'll score one, and then once the floodgates open, it is going to be a shooting gallery. Battle behind the net. Hartman comes in, but he will be beat out by Leon. The man who scored on me in overtime, even though that was like last, it was last season. Still not super happy about it. Made a stop there up close and personal on Hartman. And once again, a battle behind the net. Goes back to Addison. He gets challenged by Deno, who wins. And now he's in. A nice pass to Ennis, a great shot. But Wallstedt will make the stop there with the blocker. Lots of battles going behind the goaltenders right now. And it looks like Minnesota will not get the puck out. I was about to say. They're oh, never mind. They are able to get it back. All right, Yarncrook. Oh, what a move. Yarncrook with an insane deke. What's going on? Nope, don't like it. Yeah, smother that. Actually, you're open, sure. Bouchard will hand that out to you. Oops. <laughs> Wasn't my fault. He had time to get rid of that, and he just didn't. Goligoski with a risky pass across the crease but it did make it and then Ennis does a deke that turns out to be a pass we get another chance on net but still not able to score about to be halfway through the third period we are out chancing them no doubt but we are not outscoring them at least in the game no one scored in the third period yet but yeah we haven't been able to find the back will we find it now Radulov nice try Ennis setting it up. It's McDavid. Oh, I thought it was going to find Radulov. That would have been a great chance there. Down low. And Addison will come out with it. Let's go. What a beautiful goal. McDavid walking out. Passed in front. It looked like it wasn't a direct pass. It kind of went off a few things. Bit of Plinko going on there. But it eventually found its way to Tyler Ennis. And that will tie this thing up in the third period here. Yeah, 4-4. Definitely not a low-scoring game. Goalies have not been playing phenomenal by any means. Unless, actually, I don't know how many shots we had. I know they didn't have a whole lot of shots. So, uh, I'm going to speak for myself here and say that TJ was not doing great in the simulation. But maybe Wallstedt was. Oh, yeah. Save with the blocker. Eric Sinek wound up and... Tried to take a clap bomb, a low blocker side, but I was able to save that. Chance there, but the back check will get... Oh, no, that was almost free team play. He was going for the dump in. I saw it. He attempted it. Come on, Oilers. Lindholm behind the net. Get some pressure going here. Erickson Eck gets on. He went to dump it in again. More free team play. Just robbed from yours truly. Yes, he He's in the corner. And another battle against the boards. Zook makes a needle threading pass to Dumba, who is now in over the line. Passes to Erickson Eck. Did I save that? I had to have, right? No way. I think I did get a piece of that. I got to see a replay, though. That was wild. All right, so Erickson Eck passed down low. I wasn't ready. Zuccarello lets one sing. And, yep, off the blocker, baby. What a save. Fire me north. And the lads are headed to a power play. So this is a win-win. We're currently tied. We could score on this power play, get the lead. And on top of that, if they dump the puck down, I get to get that team play coach rating a little bit higher. I'm not going to get the chance to. Barry is going to rip one top cheddar. Wallstead didn't stand a chance. Dryside was just glitching out behind him. Yeah, that was a thing of beauty. Nuge is going to sauce it over. And Barry sends it home. Tucks it into bed. Good night. 5-4 Edmonton Oilers. Eric Sinek. Oh my word. They are really trying to force those cross crease passes. Or just passes into the slot. So we got to be weary of that for sure. Nurse to Nuge. The Nuge is going to lose it to Kaprizov. Kirill the Thrill has it behind the net. And he goes back to the point off the boards. Lindholm almost lost it there, but Zook picked it up and just gave it right to our team. Thank you, Mats. 
You absolute legend. Oh, offside. So close. Only two and a half to go. And the Oilers have two in this third period so far. The Wild have none. And because of the situation we came into, that now gives us a one goal lead. But they are certainly trying their best to tie this thing up. They're not going down without a fight. Almost a high sticking call there. Seem to be swinging his twig rather aimlessly. They're probably going to pull their goalie soon too, which is going to be huge for us. If we get an empty netter, that would be lovely. Get the insurance marker to alleviate some of the pressure back here. That would be a thing. I would appreciate very much so. They still didn't pull their goalie. Strange. It's so, so weird. You know, like they won't pull their goalie there where they have the puck in possession in our end. But I bet you as soon as they touch the puck here, that guy's gone. Let's see. No! They still did We are winning, right? Yeah. Okay, now he's gone. Here come the wild. Nice defense. Yamamoto trying to kill some time. Pinning against the boards. And Nuge has the clean pick. Will Dreisaitl be able to score in the empty net? Come on, Dreisaitl. They took him to the outside. A pass in the middle to Nuge. And that is going to wrap it up. Nice. All right. They still have time to come in and get an opportunity. But I don't think they'll get two goals. So we are definitely sitting pretty with that insurance marker. My stats are still going to be awful, but I think that the coach feedback will be good because I made a pass or two, if I remember correctly. And on top of that, I haven't let in anything. I mean, I haven't had a crazy amount of shots on me, but yeah, I think overall it was pretty solid. Okay, Zuccarello with it. How much time's left? No, he's not getting a shot off. Okay, there we go. Another win for Timothy Jimothy. Definitely not going to get one of the stars as they only had 23 shots. Yeah, that 900 save percentage took a dip real fast. Like, it just fell off a cliff. What's up, James? Well, busy night in the National oh, Hockey it's just one of these. The Alright, let's see. Oh, yeah. Tightly contested affair. The Hurricanes went toe-to-toe -to -toe on the road against the Canadians. Montreal, too much to handle on this night, and they pick up the two points. Sorry, James. Uh, we're playing the Flyers here, 8-2-1. You know what? I'm going to try the full game. Right, let's see what happens. James, goalie. what did I just say? So we're going to try out the whole game here. The Flyers do have Goudreau, which is interesting. And, yeah, we got a whole intro cutscene here. Splendid. This is just what I'm looking for. That's the type of content you love to see. Anyway, let's do this thing. Speaking of Goudreau, there he is. He got <laughs> swarmed by three of our players. McDavid was able to take it from him. And now we get a clean breakout play going. Puck is in the Flyers zone. Wow, there wasn't a pin against the boards. Giroux. By the time this video comes out, he might, he probably will no longer be on this team. In fact, I'm almost willing to say he's definitely no longer on the Flyers, but I'm recording this two days before the deadline. So, yeah, they still have a couple of days to figure out where he's going to go. But I'm pretty positive that he is on the move. So, yeah, there's a, a good chance that he is elsewhere by the time you are viewing this. McDubstep makes a pass up to pull Yarvi, who gets hit against the boards, loses it. And Goudreau has it again. He stops up in the middle to Claude, who goes for a fancy-pantsy little deke there. Didn't really work out for him. Leon, the one-handed. Speaking of fancy-pantsy, look at this guy go. What a stud. So they have not had a shot yet. I'm really hoping they don't score on their first shot of the game. Because that would just be typical. You know, that's usually how things go. But things are different this time. They are. You know what? I feel like I've been playing a lot better, as I've mentioned. So... I think we'll be fine. We'll be fine. I'm going to save the first shot. And it's all going to be uphill from there. I'm calling it right now. I still haven't had a shot yet. And we are with seven minutes left in the first period. Which is usually kind of why I sim games. But yeah, I mean the sim has been treating us kind of poorly anyway. So might as well try it out. But I mean, yeah, so far I don't really mind it. It's okay. If I only end up getting like five shots in a game though, then we're going to have a problem. Ennis. We'll be there to receive the pass around the boards. But we lose it again. And now Cam Atkinson is going to get hit. Scott Lawton, toe drag. Takes a shot that will be gloved. And now we are back in possession. Let's get up there. Get on the attack. We are 
100% outplaying these guys right now. And they're like second in the league or something as well. So, yeah, this is a real good team at the moment. And we are definitely showing them what's good. Quest for the Calder. I love the fact that I can still get it. I am currently at 34th. <laughs> I'm right up there, boys. Right up there with the best of them. We're already down to the final minute. And if I'm not mistaken, I've received a single shot. And yeah, as I mentioned, that's usually... <laughs> that was my motivation behind simming the first two periods. Because normally, you know, the sim is... A little more realistic when it comes to shots. Let's see. Yep, we have two shots on net. They have one shot on net. So that is <laughs> making me instantly want to go back to the simulation method. But we'll we'll stick it out for now and see what happens. Goudreau! Gonna put it in and I am going to whiff. Big time. But luckily, Barry will not. And he carries it right up the ice. Passes to Pujarvi who goes for a backhander. That's kind of weird. Why did you not pass that out? There was literally no one around you. Oh no, oh no, what a stop. Giroud passes it down low to Goudreau, who tried to take one short side, but I absolutely covered that angle. Now Goudreau, another one. That's gonna deflect, I believe, and go just over the net. And another solid battle win for the Oilers. Here we go, Nuge. Nice try. I mean, not the best effort in the world, but you know, I gotta give some encouragement here. Goudreau again. This guy has had all of their shots so far, I believe. That went off the backboards. Now Kim Atkinson's going to pass it to Goudreau. There's nothing I could have done there. Absolutely nothing. I don't care what you say. Hazy. Ooh, off the blocker. We need to get something going here, boys. They have definitely taken over the momentum ever since that goal. I mean, it hasn't been very long since they scored, but you can just kind of feel it right away. So we got to shut that down. ASAP. Leon with Hyman. They're going to lose that battle. And now Cam Atkinson is going to be in again. Is he going to shoot? He is going to shoot. Oh my word. I got way too fidgety there again. I got to I gotta settle down. Got to settle down. They got me dancing back here. In the middle. Off the mitten. Not able to catch it though because my goalie is in fact 76 overall. Darnell Nurse. Going to start. What is that? <laughs> he didn't even try. Oh my days. Okay, I'm passing that out, but none of that should have happened. Literally none of that. Hazy again. That won't get through either. He's going to go for a cross crease or something, isn't he? Oh, he's going down low. Oh boy. This is terrifying. They're in that mode right now. They're going to score. I can feel it. It's just throwing everything at me. Nice. Okay, great job, Yamamoto. Amazing play. Now Leon. Pass down low to Hyman. Nice try. So it's looking like we're going to be heading into the third with a 1-0 game. Shots are probably both still single digits. That'd be my guess anyway, but let's have a look. They're probably very close to one another though. 6-4. We are definitely simming games again. Konechny, he's in. And he takes a shot that will be stopped. I'll pass that out because no one's there. And you know, you could have made that a lot less stressful on yourself. But I digress. The Nuge gets it to Yessi. He's skating around. And doesn't really do a whole lot with it. That was a waste of time. Claude to Provorov who takes a shot. That will be stopped. And I am smothering that one. Okay. So yeah, we are not looking so hot right now. We can't really get too much on net. Which, I mean, is pretty evident by our current four shots on goal through two periods. So we need to ramp that up, boys, if we want a W in this contest. Flyers once again going to get possession in the neutral zone. Let's go. Come on. Barry. Down low to Poyarvi, who takes, like, what are you doing? That's the second time he's done that. Johnny. Across to Konechny. That will be stopped, but that won't be. Goudreau's going to score again. Going to baseball bat it in. My stats are down the drain. They went... Very south. <laughs> Very quickly. At least I can get team play. There we go. No freaking way. I thought that was going to be a pass to Barry, but apparently he just let it go right past him. Luckily, our team did still get it, though. Otherwise, that would have really hurt my team play, which at this point in time, I cannot afford. That was the biggest offside I've ever seen in my entire life. Here they come again. Oh, what a hit. That was the correct time to step up. Nailed it. 
Yamamoto has it on the boards, passes to Nurse. Great passing right now. Let's see if we can get a goal out of it. Kyler wants to win. All right, we need to see that effort from everyone else, though. This guy's out there. He's hustling, and he is getting opportunities, but no one else seems to be following suit. In the middle, and that won't get through. Come on, Oilers, we got to get going here. No, that's not how we get going. That's not how we do it. Cam Atkinson again, man. What did I do there? Why did I slide so far? Oh, man, I'm never playing the full game again. Never in my life. I'm not doing it. Konechny is in, and he's probably going to get... No, he's not, of course. Doesn't get a shot through. Amazing. Would have been a guaranteed stop. So, obviously, they can't let me have that. We're definitely taking an L in this one. Not the start I was looking for from the Oilers this year. I mean, I still think we're going to be a playoff team. It's very early in the season. But, man, this is not exactly how I envisioned things going. All right, come on, guys. Let's get our act together here. Obviously, this one's a write-off. And, yeah, good thing we're ending the episode here so we can try to come into the next one fresh with a good mindset. Get back to the simulation method and hopefully things go well. I'm not even going to get pulled because we're down by three. So, we're basically just chilling here for the rest of the game. Might get another shot or two. Oh, yeah, of course. Right below the net. Their favorite place. Konechny. He's in. I will actually make a save, believe it or not. Isn't it crazy? A draw win for the Flyers. Goes to JVR. Back. That will be another stop. I'm just getting rid of it because I simply don't care anymore. That game was a disgrace. TJ, we got to pick it up here. We really do. It has been bad. Three goals on 14 shots. Ew. Time to take a look at what happened around the league as we check Fine, let's take a look. Scores. Fine. The Flyers had a tall Fine. order to fill as they tried to take two on the road against the Oilers. Philadelphia played a great defensive game, but they yeah, turned it sure up did. a whole next level in front of the net, and they get the clean sheet shutout. An 868. We're in tough with the Senators. Ottawa what happened? Into another gear and pick up the two points in the win. The blue shirts faced off against the Yeah, Coyotes. clearly we're the starting goaltender. So I'm going to start playing one sim two because otherwise the season's going to take forever. So I'll just sim right, two here. Time, James? No, I don't think so. All right. Yeah, my stats are going to be horrendous. Overtime, nothing. Shootout. Okay, there we go. At least they ended up with 32 shots. So they ended up having... A fair amount, still not a lot, but more than I was expecting them to have. Sabalski here with you, and when you look back at a young player and their development, we're looking back. Like we saw with the overtime victory and the puck stopper who comes up. <laughs> yeah, clutch it was huge, wasn't it? Massive. Overtime win. Okay, I'm gonna send this one too against the Bruins. Boom! Amazing. Oh yeah. I'll take that all day. 21 shots and only two goals. Yes, sir. That's a 900 if I've ever seen one. Okay, well, that didn't really go as planned. That video was a little rough around the edges. And we're probably going to be in against the, yeah, 11, 2, and 1, Tampa Bay Lightning. But we're 9, 5, and 0. We kind of brought it back quick, so that's amazing. I'm going to view the stats so I can just show you guys how we're doing so far. McDavid has 18 points in 14 games. Dry Saddle 15. He's doing a little bit better this year. 15 from Nuge, 12 from Pulyarvi. And we'll just kind of go down the list here and show you. And then for goaltenders, uh, Pavel has an 888 and a 335. And we have an 873, 297. Ew. That is foul. All right. Um, let's look at the team standings. Edmonton Oilers, we are actually first in the Pacific Division right now. By four points. Wow, the other teams in this division not having a good season. That is good news for us. And in the entire league, we are currently sixth. Wow. That's actually shocking. Okay, cool. There you have it. So we're doing all right. We definitely need to bounce back, though. Things have been rough recently. So I, I'm going to record another one right after this because I just feel like I have to. That was not good i got to try and end on a better note than that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll see you soon.